We're new this morning, San Antonio firefighters remain on the scene of a massive fire uh, burning through a field on the city's south side. And we are learning the fire was able to quickly spread, pre uh, presenting some pretty significant threats to surrounding areas. And our Jonathan Cotto joins us live at the scene. Good morning, Jonathan. We understand this fire started yesterday afternoon. So what's the situation looking like right now? Good morning, Stephanie. Well, I can tell you we're seeing and smelling a lot of smoke, and that's just one of the challenges uh, firefighters are dealing with this morning. But we're told that the situation this morning is de-escalating with just a small amount of fire crews remaining on scene and keeping this fire under control. But let's take a look at what firefighters were up against last night. We know it was definitely an intense situation as flames quickly spread out over 200 acres. Now, this all started shortly after 7 p.m. yesterday. Video images from San Antonio Police Department helicopter shows just how far the fire was able to spread. We know the flames got really close to some homes in the surrounding areas. We spoke with San Antonio Fire Department's Joe Arrington, who was able to provide some information. Let's take a listen. We were able to get crews here so quickly on scene and keep that fire from going into any of the neighborhoods. Um, there are a couple of new neighborhoods to the, the far west flank of the fire that are under construction. Uh, it doesn't appear anyone is living in that area yet because it's a new, brand new de development. Uh, so we have crews bar working, head heading it off on the west side right now. That's where our main uh, focus is at this hour. Now that fire also inching its way pretty close to a fuel storage facility here right next door to this field. Now it's important to mention that Bear County has also stepped in to assist in supplying brush trucks and manpower here this morning. It's important to also mention that uh, the weather was also favorable in keeping this fire under control. Reporting live from the city's south side, Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.